What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back again with another video. So, we're going to check out 10 best and 10 worst celebrity WrestleMania moments, man. Sometimes celebrities get involved in WrestleMania matches or WrestleMania feuds, and uh, sometimes they can be good, sometimes they can be bad, and then sometimes they can just be downright cringe. Um, the one noticeable good one I can think of easily was Bad Bunny uh, being involved in that tag team match with Damian Priest. He showed out. Uh, it was one of the very few times, I think in my opinion, that a lot of fans were thoroughly impressed with his in-ring capability and what he was doing in the ring it was fantastic he really showed that he you know he cared about the business and you could tell he trained to you know be a part of that match and it was actually one of the better matches of wrestlemania that night so uh we're gonna check out some of the good the bad and the ugly from these celebrity appearances at wrestlemania um appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's get right into this one you know what's better than having wrestlers at wrestlemania having literally anyone else at wrestlemania Oh, sorry, that was the ad read from last year's WrestleMania. Who needs celebrities in our wrestling? Only wrestling matches with wrestlers and wrestling tights and wrestling boots and a wrestling ring this year. Of course, celebrity involvement has been ingrained into the very DNA of WrestleMania, dating mm -hmm. all the way back to the inception of the Colossal Tussle. But that does not mean they have all been good. Many of the celebrity appearances to take place at WrestleMania have been little of note. Raven Simone says hi to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is a timekeeper. Pamela Anderson and Jenny McCarthy as valets. Not much to remember them by, but some celebrity moments are so amazing that you can never forget about them. Mm -hmm. And well, unfortunately, the opposite is also true. I'm Tempest Hailing from Parts Fun Known, and these are the 10 best and 10 worst celebrity WrestleMania moments. But before we get on with this list, make sure, of course, that you like this video, subscribe, and enable notifications to always on so you don't miss a single one of the lists that we've got in the plethora of WrestleMania content coming your way this month. Honorable mention Mike Tyson. Yeah. Mike Tyson squeezes his way onto this list because it would be impossible to talk about the greatest contribution celebrities have made to WrestleMania without mentioning Tyson's role in making WrestleMania 14 the success it was. Yep. But he misses because on the actual night, boy is he distracting, annoying, and otherwise all around bad. Number 10 <laughs> worst, Kim Kardashian. Oh, Luke Owen wow. still denies this one ever took place. Photographic evidence be damned, Luke Owen is unmoving. Damn. Regardless of Luke's stubbornness, Kim K did indeed host WrestleMania 24, if you can believe Damn. it. She did nothing of she note did. besides getting yelled at by Mr. Kennedy Kennedy and announced the attendance figure. Yo, what's crazy? She don't even look the same she did uh, those years ago. I mean, granted, you're going to look a little bit different as the, you know time goes by, but it's crazy. You don't even look like the same person. <laughs> and this wasn't even when she had become the mogul that she would go on to yeah, become. Yeah, that's a the crazy thing. A few years later, this could have been a big deal. Here? Nah. No. Also, this was the first time I had ever heard of Kim Kardashian. I was 11. I was innocent. Number 10 best, <laughs> Snooki. I don't want to hear it. Snooki is a highlight of WrestleMania 27. <laughs> I wouldn't I put being a highlight of one of the worst WrestleManias of all time in my obituary, but this is also the woman that described herself as a meatball on many occasions, so who knows where her priorities lie. No matter which way you slice it, no one, when this match was announced, thought that Snooki would do a round-off back handspring. She wasn't the worst on the show, and yeah. she wasn't close to being the worst celebrity on the show. That yeah. would be... Number nine, Pee Wee Herman. Ugh. I know there is a generation of folks with nostalgia for uh. Pee Wee Herman, but good God almighty, is he ever the worst celebrity to <laughs> grace the screen at WrestleMania 27? Thankfully limited to a backstage <laughs> segment, Mr. Wee Herman riffs with The Rock and some of the most PG garbage comedy of the PG era. Thankfully it was short, but piss piss Herman can piss off. Number nine best, oh, Pete man. Rose. Pete Rose should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame, and it is a travesty that he is not. I don't care that he bet on games. He's one of the best players in the history of the game. Okay, American Sports with Tempest is done. As for WrestleMania, <laughs> Rose is still one of the best recurring bits of the Attitude Era, popping up at WrestleMania every year to f*** with and get thwarted by Kane. WrestleMania 14 is the best among them if you want to get granular and hold me to one moment, but Rose's run-ins at WrestleMania 15 <laughs> and 2000 were also Hall of Fame worthy. Number eight worst, Maria Menounos. This one feels a bit mean. Maria Menounos is a massive wrestling fan. She recites mm -hmm. the Hard Times promo to Dusty Rhodes at the Hall of Fame. She wears homemade Bob Backlund shirts at pay-per-views, and she seems like a lovely woman. Yeah. Her WrestleMania 28 tag match, however, is not 
fucking good. She breaks her rib during the match. Jesus. She gets Eve spray tan on the seat of her white pants, making it look like she'd shit herself. And even its best moments are still in a five minute match during the worst era of WWE women's wrestling this uh, side of the yeah. Hey, shout out to her it's still trying to compete out there. Uh, injured, man. You know, anything dealing with the ribs, you know, you got to be a strong person to be able to continue to go out there, you know, and keep, keep doing uh, what you need to do. Number eight best, Lawrence Taylor. While not the best in-ring performance of a celebrity on this list by any means, mm -hmm. I truly think Lawrence Taylor should be commended for his performance in the main event of WrestleMania 11. On one hand, you have Bam Bam Bigelow pulling off the carry job of a lifetime, but on the other, LT should get credit for being yep. an incredible athlete, capable of holding his own in the biggest match of the year. WrestleMania 11 isn't a good WrestleMania by any means, but the main event wasn't too bad. Number seven worst, Aki Bono. WrestleMania, baby, woo! When people talk about Big Show's horrible WrestleMania resume, they're talking about sh** like this. Oh Sorry, Big Show, God. but what was the purpose of this? Why did Big Show have a promoted one-minute sumo match with Aki Bono? They spent time on TV building this up. For why? I just don't understand. Humiliate your own star in a sh** match with Big Show's giant dimply ass pointed right at the camera. Appalling. Number and this is just proof that not all of the... Of uh, the older WrestleManias, like all the way through, weren't all fantastic. Let's just, let's just we gotta be fair. We tend to look at the past with rose uh, tinted glasses, like everything was great back in the ruthless aggression and in, in the attitude era. No, there were some god awful matches, god awful segments, and sometimes they took place at WrestleMania. So let's, let's, let's we gotta be fair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is one of those situations. Seven best, Logan Paul. While Logan yeah, Paul added fairly sure. little to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens' grudge match at WrestleMania 37, he was the featured performer just for a year sure. later at WrestleMania 38. Showed it feels out. like a disservice to Logan to put him this low on the list, but what can I say? There have been some great Mania moments. We did not yet know just how good Logan mm -hmm. Paul was going to be at nope. this, but what an introduction we got when he beat the Mysterios alongside The Miz. It really is annoying that this guy is so good at this, isn't it? Yeah. Number six. <laughs> it's crazy. You don't want to like him, but you can only respect how good he is in the ring. Uh, it's funny saying this out loud verbatim. Logan Paul versus Seth Rollins could be potentially match of the night. Whatever whatever night they have it on, maybe night one. Maybe I could see that being on night one if it's on night one. That could be match of the night. I want you guys to really understand what I'm saying here. Logan Paul and Seth Rollins could be match of the night at re this year's WrestleMania for night one. If they do it on night one. That's insanity. Hell, if maybe even night two, it could be the one of the best matches of the entire WrestleMania weekend. That, I never thought I would say those words. Whether you love him or hate him, the dude is fantastic in the ring. You, you can't make that up. That's that's something you you either got or you don't. Jesus. Worst, Michael Shea and Colin Jost. It is appropriate, I suppose, considering how not funny Saturday Night Live has become, that the WrestleMania yeah. appearances of these two SNL dudes would be the least funny thing WWE did in 2019, and that is f***ing saying something. These two walk out with all the charisma of your Nan's plastic-covered sofa, hide under the ring, then try to turn the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal into a comedy angle, getting Braun Strowman to talk to their therapist before getting chucked out. No one cares about this Battle Royal, but yeah. f man, the Hardys were there, Luke Harper, Andrade, Ali, some f***ing players. Nah, give the big spot to the unfunny comedians. Yep. <sighs> Number six Sounds best, right. Ronda Rousey. Gotta I'm not give her respect. Ronda's wrestling career on this list as she was signed by WWE at the time, but her initial appearance at WrestleMania 31, mm -hmm. that's fair game. Was this segment too long? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. You tell Triple H to hurry it up at WrestleMania and see how effective that is. But The Rock enlisting Ronda Rousey, at the time, the undefeated biggest draw in all of combat sports, yep. to fight Triple H and Stephanie McMahon was electric, complete with a rare bit of perfect camera work from WWE as The Rock slowly revealed his new ally. Mm -hmm. Of course, this was before Ronda Rousey was a bit, well, you know, yeah. bad. But speaking of bad, number five worst, Gronk. Rob Gronkowski <laughs> is the most talented tight end in NFL history. Facts. It is known. That does not, however, <laughs> translate to pro wrestling. A simple run-in marred by a security guard not knowing who Gronk was at the WrestleMania 33 pre-show? Totally fine, totally harmless. 
Gronk's endless escapades and incessant obnoxious dancing at WrestleMania 36, yeah. not fine, not harmless. Yeah. Winning the 24-7 championship to launch a wrestling career that never got off the ground because wrestling is hard, a total waste of time. Yeah. Number five best, Bad Bunny. Who? I, no. I, 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 I said this at the beginning of the video. Bad Bunny showed out. Seriously, that will never be funny. See this enormous stadium packed to the rafters for a Bad Bunny concert? Maybe this means wrestling fans shouldn't be the barometers for everyone's cultural significance. Anyway, Bad Bunny blew everyone away at WrestleMania mm -hmm. 37. Sure, his Canadian destroyer was really just him holding on for dear life while John Morrison did a backflip. Yeah. His timing, poise, and charisma outmatch a lot of people who have done this way longer. Facts. And then he rode off on a giant truck, and The Miz wouldn't stop talking about him for months. <laughs> the worst, Mickey Rourke. This story is so f***ing funny. So Mickey Rourke was in a very good, very depressing movie called The Wrestler. Mm -hmm. He was going to wrestle Chris Jericho at WrestleMania 25, but announced that on the red carpet way too early, causing his PR team to panic because being involved with the low brown nonsense of WWE would hurt his chances of winning the Oscar and had mm -hmm. him pull out of the match. Then Jericho did an in-character interview on Larry King, convincing Rourke there was heat, so when Rourke showed up at WrestleMania, he brought Frank Shamrock as backup in case things got ugly. Rourke did a horrible post-match run-in following Jericho's win over the old folks' home and threw an awful punch. Rourke and Jericho blew off all the heat backstage when Jericho revealed he was not, in fact, shooting on Rourke in the interview, but imagine the match they would have had. Number four mm. best, Jackass. If it were Luke's list, this would be <laughs> number one. As it stands, it probably this should was still fun. be number one, this but was unfortunately, fun. there are a few that beat it out through sheer historical significance. WrestleMania 38 was the celebrity match mania, and people were not exactly down with that idea going in, but then they were gifted with the wrestling masterpiece that was Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville. This was fun. What is there to say about this match? There's a giant hand, a giant mouse trap, a wee man hitting a giant slam. It's a perfect match. Where you can find Omega Okada 4 as the perfect wrestling match, this right here is a perfect match. It was just a good match. time. Just a good time Number to have three fun. worst, Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, We've brother. tried to exclude musical performances here today. That's a topic for another day. But this one transcends music. After all the effort WWE made to make John Cena appear on the same tier as The Rock in the lead up to WrestleMania 28, this was the performance they gave for Cena's entrance. Yeah. The performance itself was whatever. It is Machine Gun Kelly, after all. It's the WrestleMania 28 theme. Who cares? Yeah. But it was the entire hype man promo MGK gave, calling The Rock one of the biggest egos in the business and saying he will fall to one of the biggest underdogs. John Cena, <laughs> an underdog in 2012. <laughs> There's no chance Cena wasn't getting booed walking into the Rock's uh, territory of Miami, but this performance guaranteed it. Number three best, Floyd Mayweather. For many people... This was actually pretty... I was surprised how entertained I was with this Floyd Mayweather big show situation. The measuring stick for celebrity wrestling matches is Floyd Mayweather's boxer versus wrestler match with the big show. WrestleMania, baby. Woo! Whereas the Aki Bono match was a complete and utter waste of time, this match at WrestleMania 24 was one of the biggest highlights of the show. Mm -hmm. Big Show ends up a babyface in spite of WWE somehow thinking that Floyd, one of the biggest natural heels in all of show business, was going to be cheered in this match. No. Floyd bumps for Big Show, sells incredibly well, carries himself like a star, and finally knocks Big Show out with brass knucks after a very well-paced, filled with smoke and mirrors match. And also, look, it's Michael Tarver from the Nexus. Number two worst, Butterbean. Some of the entries on this list could be classified as a waste of time. Aki Bono says hello, but yeah. at the very least, it is merely a waste of a segment and perhaps the time it took to build the match. Butterbean's boxing match at WrestleMania 15 is not only a waste of time on an all-time wretched WrestleMania, but it also serves as the culmination for one of the biggest wastes of time in WWE history with the Brawl for All. Vince Russo's brain-dead <laughs> idea to have the fake wrestlers do real fights to yeah. prove that JBL wasn't tough. It is one of the worst ideas in WWE, yeah. climaxing with a worthless boxing match that killed Bart Gunn dead. Shout out to Butterbean. Wasn't his fault. Number two best, Donald Trump. This was actually pretty uh, good, too. Unfortunately, the words best at the and time, Donald Trump it was, it was, like it was, it was pretty Trump, entertaining. Unfortunately, <laughs> WrestleMania 23 was very successful. Assholes having a successful show. The interest in the hair versus hair match between Trump and Vince McMahon with Bobby Lashley and Umaga playing the role of the action figures the two billionaires were smashing together was through the roof, resulting mm -hmm. in the biggest buy rate in WWE history to that point. It was a hell of an angle, a yep. hell of a payoff, and a hell of an awful stunner. Yep. The absolute state of that, dear God, had to end on a negative note because, you know, 
Trump. Number one worst, Mr. T. Mr. T was instrumental in the success of WrestleMania 1, but when the time came for the sequel a year later, boy, did that success not translate. <laughs> of course, one was a tag team match with three of the industry's biggest stars in the main event of the most important wrestling show in history. And then there's this, an honest to God, minus <laughs> five star worked boxing match with Roddy Piper. This is appallingly bad. Anytime wrestlers try to do a worked fight, whether nah. it be boxing or MMA or whatever, it never goes well. Nope. And this one is not short. It is not entertaining, and it ends with a stupid f***ing DQ when Piper just gets bored and body slams T. Not enough people name WrestleMania 2 as the worst WrestleMania ever, but I assure you, anyone unlucky enough to be in the New York third of this godforsaken show could tell you horror stories about how bad this show and this match were. <laughs> but thankfully for Mr. T, he also had number one best, Mr. T. Hmm. The success of WrestleMania 1 to fall back on. WrestleMania 1 is the most important wrestling show ever, and there could be a whole list filled with just the celebrity appearances from that show. Mm -hmm. Cindy Lauper, Liberace, Muhammad Ali, and mm -hmm. Billy Martin, prior to his fourth of five stints as New York Yankees manager, all brought in more eyes to the show. But Mr. T's involvement in the WrestleMania 1 main event was the big one. Hulk Hogan, the face of wrestling, teaming up with Mr. T, an actual mainstream megastar, is a level of celebrity involvement that has not been achieved with this level of success since. And the Makes match sense. itself is fine. Considering this is 1985, this could be way worse. Imagine if we lived in the alternate timeline where Mr. T actually did pull out of this match because he thought the others were going to shoot on him, which nearly happened. Oh, wow. Would we have WrestleMania as we know it today? Probably Maybe not. not. And I pity the timeline that doesn't have. I pity the fool. And that's our list. Make sure, of course, that you like this video, subscribe, and enable. Now, this was a good list, man. Good list. Most of this I actually agree with. You know, um, it's it's crazy. Once again, sometimes the celebrities, you know, being a part of WrestleMania works, and sometimes it doesn't. So comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite celebrity appearance and or match from uh, any of the WrestleManias in the past, man. But I appreciate. All your love and support you guys are showing on channel Road to 150K. And I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ. And of course, your Inner Clutch World Heavyweight Champ. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.